The universe is vast, it's an ocean of black, dotted with the fires of a billion billion suns. And in our own little cosmic neighborhood our solar system, there are worlds of incredible wonder. Some are familiar, like our neighbor Mars, the red planet. Others are giants, like Jupiter, with its swirling storms. But way out there, far beyond the reach of our unaided eyes, floats a pale blue-green mystery. A world named Uranus. For centuries it was just a faint speck of light, a shy ghost moving slowly against the backdrop of distant stars. It was a planet that held its secrets close, wrapped in a serene, almost featureless cayenne haze. What was hiding beneath those placid clouds? Did it have moons? Did it have rings like its neighbor Saturn? These questions floated in the minds of astronomers, whispers of curiosity in the grand library of the cosmos. So we built a traveler, not of flesh and blood but of wires, circuits and ambition. We called it Voyager 2. Why send a probe on such a long and perilous journey? Because of a cosmic coincidence, a rare alignment of the outer planets that happens only once every 176 years. This was the grand tour. It was a planetary pool shot on a cosmic scale. NASA scientists realized that they could use the immense gravity of one planet to slingshot a spacecraft toward the next. The challenges were enormous, almost beyond comprehension. The spacecraft had to be perfect. It had to operate flawlessly for more than a decade, traveling billions of kilometers from home. So in the summer of 1977, Voyager 2 lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida. It rose on a pillar of fire and smoke, a tiny emissary carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire species. The journey was long. Years turned into a near decade. Voyager 2 sailed through the silent vacuum of space, a solitary traveler on an epic voyage. It first flew past the colossal planet Jupiter in 1979, its cameras capturing breathtaking images of the Great Red Spot and discovering active volcanoes on its moon, Io. The main challenge was the planet itself. Uranus is bizarre, it's the misfit of the solar system. While all the other planets spin like tops as they orbit the sun, Uranus is knocked over on its side. Finally, in January of 1986, after nine years of travel, the moment arrived. Voyager 2 began its flyby of Uranus. As Voyager 2 dove into the Uranian system, its instruments began to paint a picture that was stranger than anyone had imagined. We discovered new moons, small and dark, hiding in the planet's faint, dusty rings. But they were just the opening act. The main event, the discovery that truly left scientists speechless, came from an instrument that couldn't see, but could feel, it came from the magnetometer. Most planets, like Earth, have a magnetic field that is roughly aligned with their spin axis. This is what we expected to find at Uranus. But what Voyager 2 found was utterly baffling. The magnetic field of Uranus was a mess. It was tilted by an additional jaw-dropping 60 degrees away from the spin axis. This bizarre configuration meant that as Uranus rotated, its magnetic field tumbled and wobbled violently through space. Back on Earth, at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California, the scientists who had waited nine years for this data were in a state of shock. They stared at the graphs and charts materializing on their computer screens, their faces a mixture of confusion and disbelief. The first signals from the magnetometer were so strange, so completely out of left field, that the initial reaction was that the instrument must be broken. Engineers and scientists scrambled to check the health of the spacecraft. But there was nothing. Voyager 2 was working perfectly. The data was solid. The uncomfortable, mind-bending truth began to sink in. The problem wasn't with the spacecraft, it was with our understanding of planets. This wasn't just a new detail to add to the textbooks. This was a discovery that forced them to rip out entire chapters and start again from scratch. This is the heart of scientific discovery. After its brief, revelatory encounter with Uranus, Voyager 2 continued its journey. There, it found yet more surprises. The fastest winds in the solar system, and a magnetic field that was also wildly tilted and offset, just like that of Uranus. Today, Voyager 2 is more than 20 billion kilometers from home. It has left the heliosphere and is now sailing through the space between the stars, a silent ambassador from Earth to the Milky Way galaxy. The legacy of Voyager 2's Uranus flyby is a legacy of curiosity rewarded. It reminds us that the greatest discoveries are often the ones we least expect. We went to Uranus expecting to find a simple, tilted version of Jupiter or Saturn. Instead, we found a world that broke the mold. The journey of Voyager 2 is not over. It will drift through the Milky Way for millions of years, long after we are all gone.
The discoveries at Uranus were a pivotal moment in our exploration of the solar system. A reminder that the most exciting part of science is not in finding the answers we expect, but in discovering the questions we never even thought to ask.